What are you ladies up to? Hey folks, Zito here. Hope you're well. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about this. It's a coop that I built. Basically that TikTok meme's been kinda of going around. Uh, so like, uh, you wanna live on a piece of property with me and build a chicken coop? We built this coop for under $1,000 and basically in this video we're gonna kinda of look over how we kinda of did that, our process. And down below we've also got, you know, drawings, listed materials for what you need to build something like this. It's got a bunch of great features like a nice tin roof. It's got a nesting box. It's super whimsical to look at and when you're looking at something like this price range, it's certainly way better built than anything you'll find on Amazon and it just follows a ton of the principles from folks like Oak Abode and Third Coast Craftsman. So, you know, I'm really proud of this. Uh, the girls seem really happy and yeah, we're just gonna kind of go over how we built this thing. So follow along. So for this particular build, we start off with two 10 foot four by fours, which are both pressure treated and 16 two by fours, along with two sheets of plywood. Once the initial frame of the coop was cut, we actually used some Craig outdoor screws to attach the 2x4s to 4x4s. I just found that this was a bit cleaner than toenailing framing nails into the structure. And from there, we built out our base. With the initial structure built, pressure treated 4x4s and 2x4s for the base, we added some blocking every 16 inches on center. And then after cutting some three quarter inch plywood, just so that we can kind of fit it in around the four by fours, we had the bottom of the coop. And of course, Amber had to stress test it by jumping on the thing. After attaching that with some decking screws and painting it for some protection, it was time to build out the rest of the structure with more two by fours. Before it got too heavy, we decided to move it to its home where the birds would eventually live. From there, it was time to build up the walls. Most of the walls come from the same sheet of three quarter inch plywood that you saw earlier in the build. With a mix of circular saws and jigsaws, we were able to cut out the walls and have a fun little cylindrical door as well. Hey, so at this point, we got these windows from Amazon. They're like 30 buck or something like that. So they're pretty affordable. And we're gonna install these into three different spots on the coop itself. Now the only issue is that sort of this backside here sticks out the back so much. And because we're only going into three quarter inch plywood that you know we have to use extra hardware cloth and it's kind of kind of messy in terms of affixing it to the back of this on the inside of the coop itself. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna just trim a bit of it off here on uh, the bandsaw and you know, it's slightly sketchy to cut, but it will look good once we put it onto the coop and stuff. So, makes it all worth it. So at this point, we're onto the roof. We frame this thing of two by fours, attach it to the rest of the structure with some decking screws, and from there, we added a tin roof to it. These two sections of eight foot long, 32 inch wide tin roofing cost about 40 bucks a sheet. From there, an important part was to add the hardware cloth. This was added to sections like behind the windows for the run, and also buried underneath the run as well. From there, we added some Tyvek to each of the exposed walls, added some blue skin under the windows, just to help protect better from any water that would get under windowsills and such. And then we began cedar shaking the sides. This was of course leftover cedar shake from my A-frame build several years back. Cedar shakes have now basically five or six X in price since that build. I wanted to use them because they're pretty fun and whimsical, and I kind of wanted to try this staggered look. From there, I shaved off 1 8 inch off the entire door and attached it via cabinet door hinges.
Then we added some windows with some black silicone screws. And by this point, this thing was getting pretty exciting as the coupe was really coming together. Now, the only thing we should really should have done was we should have leveled the ground before moving the structure over. Alas, I tried to do my best while the coupe was already in place. And once I had it in a happy enough spot, I started to build out the run. After the run was framed out, we added more hardware cloth, door, and added a fancy light sensing chicken door. And at this point, the coupe was basically done. There were a few additions like the food dispenser, self-heating water dispenser, a ramp, a nesting stick on the inside, and we're effectively in business. We introduced the birds, and shortly after the build was done, they immediately started laying in the nesting boxes, and between the four birds, we get about three eggs a day. I know, I know. Okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. We're pretty stoked on this coop. I'm pretty proud of it, and the girls seem super happy with it. So as mentioned, I built this coupe for about $1,160 a Canadian. Uh, it's well under $1,000 for you Americans who are kind of building something similar for four to five birds. So a couple other things though that you know folks kind of don't necessarily talk about is that you kind of like to let your girls free range and stuff. So we actually have this fence that can be electrified. It's not, but it's about $200, something that folks don't necessarily mention, but something that's also kind of nice and easy to set up. Furthermore, we've also kind of got one of those step-on feeders, and those are kind of sweet. They're a hundred some odd dollars as well. While the coop is the major cost, there certainly are other costs associated with owning chickens and stuff. You know, having owned these chickens though for, for all about a month, they're such a great part of our lives and they bring us a ton of joy. Honestly, it's just the eggs. We've been making a bunch of eggs, Benny, fresh pasta. It's kind of just taken this homestead thing to another level for us. So can't thank you enough for checking this out and hope you all have a good one. And uh, yeah, more fun stuff to come. We've kind of started on our sauna build and everything. So keep an eye out for that. Cool, take care, take it easy. Ugh. Damn, damn knees are getting sore, getting old.